the 2010 film Primal is definitely a worthwhile, obscure monster movie to watch. It's also a zombies horror film that leaves people feeling desperate. At the beginning of the story, a few young people drive into a rarely visited primeval forest in search of legendary rock paintings. According to the map route, they quickly arrive at a cave entrance. As long as they pass through this cave, they can directly reach their destination. But looking at the pitch black cave, Anya, who was walking at the back, was a bit scared. It turns out that due to an accident when she was young, she developed a serious claustrophobia. Seeing Anya hesitating to follow, Chris, who was in front, had no choice but to return. She consoled Anya not to be afraid while supporting her to walk deeper into the cave. In order not to spoil everyone's fun, Anya had no choice but to steal herself and walk inside. But after walking in for a while, she still couldn't overcome the fear in her heart and began to breathe rapidly. In the chaos, Anya's arm was accidentally scratched by the rock wall. She finally couldn't bear it and directly fainted. When Anya woke up from her coma, she had already been carried out of the cave by her companions. Considering that Anya's condition made it impossible for her to enter the cave again, Dace had no choice but to hand the car keys to Anya and let her drive alone along a detour to the cave exit. The rest of the people continued to pass through the cave and find a place to set up camp in advance. However, no one knew that this seemingly ordinary cave actually hit a huge danger, because the blood Anya left behind was gradually being absorbed. There seemed to be an unknown, mysterious force in the cave, but fortunately, without Anya as a burden, the others quickly arrived at the other side of the cave. They also saw the ancient rock painting here. Before long, Anya successfully joined them. After setting up camp, the group began to appreciate the rock painting together. Dace prepared to study the content in depth and use it to write a graduation thesis to obtain his own doctoral degree. But Warren and Anya didn't seem to be interested, so they turned and left. But Chris and Dace, who stayed in place, were completely unaware that something in the grass was watching them. Just as Chris was about to take a handsome photo of Dace, that unknown creature suddenly attacked her from behind, instantly leaving a wound on her leg. Seeing this, Dace hurriedly picked up a stone. When the other party pounced again, he instantly killed it. Unexpectedly, the unknown creature turned out to be just a rabbit, but it had incredibly sharp teeth and didn't look like an ordinary rabbit. They didn't realize this was a dangerous signal. Dace even hung the rabbit's corpse on a tree branch, trying to use it to make an example and scare away other animals. Soon it was evening, they sat around the campfire and chatted, but on a whim, Mel took her boyfriend Chad to the edge of a pond, wanting to have an unrestrained outdoor water play. However, faced with his girlfriend's temptation, Chad was unmoved. Seeing that Chad was unwilling to get into the water no matter what, Mel had no choice but to choose to go ashore. Unexpectedly, Mel's body was crawling with leeches. Hearing the scream, Dace hurriedly came to help. He used salt to help Mel clean the leeches in front of Chad, while Chad was scared stiff on the spot. After the crisis was resolved, everyone crawled into their tents to sleep. But as soon as she lay down, Mel felt a bit unwell. Everyone thought she was just not used to the water and soil, so they didn't take it to heart. Even when Mel was drinking water and blood seeped from her mouth, no one noticed. It wasn't until late at night that Chad realized something was wrong, but Mel's condition was already very bad. Her teeth fell out with a light pull, realizing that things weren't that simple. Everyone decided to take Mel to the hospital immediately, but while packing, Anya was surprised to find that a hole had somehow appeared in her backpack. Even the tent had a big hole. Taking a closer look, it was actually covered with small black bugs. Anya hurriedly told Dace about this, saying there was a kind of omnivorous small black bug in the camp. But Dace, who was busy leaving, didn't pay attention. He thought Anya was just talking about ordinary bugs. It wasn't until he found that the tires had also been corroded by these small bugs that Dace realized something was seriously wrong. It seemed they couldn't leave tonight. They had no choice but to return to the camp and wait until early morning to make plans. Early the next morning, they began to pack up. At the same time, they prepared to make a stretcher to carry Mel and leave on foot. But then Chris found something wrong with Mel. She was standing there motionless, seeming to be chewing on something in her mouth. Chris plucked up her courage and slowly approached Mel, but was startled by Mel turning around. It turned out that what Mel was eating was the rabbit that Dace had killed yesterday. Just as everyone was shocked, Mel suddenly roared at Chris. Mel, whose teeth had already fallen out, actually grew fangs. Mel pushed Chris away and then directly pounced on Chad, and she crazily gnawed on Chad's arm. Mel's terrifying appearance was like a zombie. Seeing this, 
Dace hurriedly picked up a burning stick from the ground to drive Mel away. The mutated Mel seemed to be very afraid of fire. She turned around and ran into the woods. At this moment, the few people were extremely flustered. They didn't know what on earth had happened to Mel. Seeing Chad's injured arm, Warren hurried to the car to get the first aid kit. Unexpectedly, just as he was about to return, he was pounced on by the suddenly appearing Mel. Luckily, Dace arrived in time with a stick. Who would have thought that the mutated Mel was so tough? A few hits from the stick and Mel was completely unharmed. It wasn't until Chris brought a torch that Mel was scared away again. While the others were bandaging Chad's wound, Mel attacked a kangaroo. After eating her fill, she threw the kangaroo's corpse into that cave. Soon, the mysterious force in the cave absorbed the entire corpse. Realizing that Mel would return again, everyone began to discuss countermeasures. At the moment, they only had two choices, either set up a trap to catch Mel, or directly find a way to send her away. As Mel's boyfriend, Chad of course wouldn't agree to the second option, he believed Mel was just sick. Anya also thought they should catch Mel first and then make plans, so they immediately took action and began to set up traps on the ground. When everything was ready, they had Chad act as bait and stand in the trap. Dace was responsible for climbing the tree, ready to trigger the trap at any time. The remaining three people then took torches and split up to find Mel, looking for an opportunity to lure her towards the trap. But unexpectedly, the mutated Mel wasn't stupid either, she had been observing in the dark. In the end, she targeted Anya, whose fire was weak. Seeing Mel's terrifying appearance, Anya was so scared that she kept backing away. But just at this moment, the torch in her hand was about to go out. Fortunately, Warren arrived just in time with a blazing torch at the critical moment. He blocked Mel and bought Anya a chance to escape. After Anya safely returned to the camp, Warren also quickly turned back. Mel was successfully lured over like this. Seeing that Chad had no torch in his hand, Mel decisively pounced on him. With everyone's tacit cooperation, Mel was successfully captured. But just as they were discussing the next step, Mel actually easily broke free from her bonds and escaped from inside. Warren, who was beside her, didn't even react before being directly pounced on by Mel. After getting up, Mel continued to pounce on Dace. Dace saw this and hurriedly turned around to run away and eventually jumped into the pond to escape. While Mel disappeared into the woods again, by the time everyone returned, Warren, who had fallen to the ground, was no longer breathing. By night, even Warren's corpse was eaten raw by Mel. Everyone could only watch helplessly. And Mel, who had eaten her fill, threw the corpse into the hole again like last time. At this point, they had no choice but to eliminate Mel. After all, she had completely lost her humanity. It was either her death or everyone's death. But Chad stood out again to oppose. Even if his girlfriend had become like this, he still had no intention of giving up. To deal with the coming danger, they began to look for usable weapons. Thinking there was still a machete in the car, they prepared to go get it together. Unexpectedly, just at this moment, Dace felt something wrong with his body. The symptoms were almost exactly the same as Mel's. It turned out that the water in the pond was the culprit causing their mutation. And Dace, who had just jumped into the water, had obviously been infected. Everyone was at a loss for a while, not knowing what to do. If Dace also turned into a monster, they would definitely die. However, Chad, who had always opposed killing Mel, expressed at this moment that they should immediately kill Dace. Even Dace's girlfriend Chris agreed without hesitation. Seeing their unanimous opinion, Anya had no choice but to acquiesce by default. But the question is, who'll do this? The cowardly Chad certainly wouldn't take the initiative, so he suggested they draw lots. Whoever drew the shortest one would do it. In the end, the unlucky Anya became the lucky one. But after all, it was her first time and she had no experience. She held the dagger but hesitated to strike. Faced with Chad's incessant urging, Anya had no choice but to steal her heart. She picked up a rock and smashed it towards Dace. But Anya's strike wasn't forceful enough and didn't kill Dace with one blow. Instead, because of her discomfort, she ran to the side and vomited violently. Seeing this scene, Chad not only didn't step forward to help, but also kept urging Anya to continue quickly. But Anya was now unwilling to do it no matter what. Just as they were arguing, the long disappeared Mel suddenly appeared. She wanted to rescue Dace, who was about to mutate. Anya quickly grabbed a torch and tried to drive away Mel, telling Chad to hurry up and kill Dace. But Chad refused her, using the excuse that he drew the long straw. 
They watched helplessly as Mel took Dace away. Anya can't help but laugh at Chad for being such a useless man. But now that it had come to this, they could only look for an opportunity to eliminate Dace before he mutated. To avoid losing the target, they finally decided to split up. Chris went to the car to get a knife, while Chad and Anya took torches to search for the monsters. Soon, Chad and Anya found Mel. Fortunately, Dace on the ground hadn't mutated yet, but Mel blocked their way. Anya thought this was an opportunity, so she told Chad to restrain Mel while she went around to deal with Dace. However, Chad, overcome by his love-struck mind, disregarded Anya's plan and attempted to put down the torch in an effort to awaken the irrational Mel. As a result, Mel pounced directly the next second. Anya wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to finish off Dace, but Mel came running towards her while running away. Anya accidentally ran into the cave, but strangely, Mel didn't choose to follow. She seemed to be wary of the mysterious existence in the cave. At the same time, Chris in the car had a hard time finding the machete, but was targeted by the fully mutated Dace. The moment Dace pounced into the car, Chris hurriedly took the machete and fled, but Dace's speed was too fast and Chris was still caught up. In despair, she could only wave the machete. This scene was just witnessed by Chad, who had returned to the camp but he chose to turn a blind eye. The scream distracted Mel at the cave entrance. Seeing this, Anya hurried to take the opportunity to escape, but she didn't notice a tentacle behind her. When Anya rushed back, Chris had already been taken away. Only that big machete lay on the ground. Thinking about Mel's behavior at the entrance of the cave, Anya rushed to take Chad towards the cave. Although she didn't know why the monster didn't dare to go in, but it was definitely safer inside than outside. Unexpectedly, on the way, they just happened to see Mel and Dace dining. Anya and Chad originally wanted to quietly bypass them, but after eating their fill, Mel and Dace actually made ambiguous movements. Seeing this scene, Chad was instantly blinded by anger. Chad had already sensed that Mel and Dace had a thing going on. He couldn't hold back anymore. Disregarding Anya's obstruction, he rushed over with the machete. Left with no choice, Anya had to light a torch and follow closely. The two sides instantly engaged in a decisive battle. At the cost of his own life, Chad finally perished together with Dace, and Anya picked up the machete on the ground and slowly entered the cave under Mel's pursuit. Although Mel didn't catch up, Anya, who suffered from claustrophobia, was still a bit scared. She tried to overcome the fear in her heart and slowly went deeper. Little did she know, there was an even more terrifying monster in the cave. Anya had no idea that the tentacles behind her were getting restless. Not long after walking, Anya actually encountered Chris, who had just been taken away. In the depths of the cave, the fear in Chris' eyes showed that she had encountered something terrible. Anya originally wanted to support Chris and walk together. Unexpectedly, a moment later, Chris' belly actually bulged up high. It seemed something was about to burst out of her body. Anya was so scared that she dropped the machete. Just as she was in a panic, the tentacle hiding in the dark finally couldn't resist launching an attack. The unprepared Anya was instantly grabbed. Anya hurriedly sought help from Chris beside her. But the dazed Chris picked up the machete from the ground and unhesitatingly cut open her own belly. She couldn't endure the monster in her stomach. So she chose the most extreme method. Relying on the last bit of consciousness, Chris raised the machete and killed the baby that had just been delivered by cesarean section. Then Chris, enduring the pain, prepared to rescue Anya. However, the monster gave Chris no chance at all and directly slapped her against the wall. At this moment, Anya was extremely scared, and the monster also immediately revealed its true form. Just as the monster was about to launch an attack, Anya seized the opportunity to pick up the machete from the ground and rushed up, chopping at the monster. While the monster was caught off guard, Anya ran towards the exit without stopping. In the end, she escaped by the skin of her teeth. Seeing the pursuing tentacle retract again, Anya finally breathed a sigh of relief. But she wasn't happy for long when Mel came swooping down the hill again. In this desperate situation, Anya erupted with primordial power and fiercely kicked Mel away. Mel, who crashed into a tree, completely lost her ability to move. Anya picked up a rock and directly smashed her head. This time, the crisis was finally completely over. Out of the group of six, only Anya successfully escaped alive.